it's Lindy from Stitch and Lindy. I'm doing another grocery haul today. Today was actually a smaller shop um, than normal. We had quite a lot of fruits and veggies still left over, so there was um, not too much that we needed to get, but I do have quite a few new items that I'm gonna be trying this week, so here's my shop. All right, so here is my grocery shop. So this was about, I wanna say 70 um which doesn't look like much here but there was quite a few items that i got um that were bigger items or more expensive items because i did get some vegan items this is actually our meal plan for the week so i am doing tonight a cashew cauliflower over rice so i'm doing um it's actually a sweet and sour cauliflower similar to a sweet and sour um, chicken ball but with cauliflower and then over mushroom fried rice I'm gonna do I'm gonna do on Monday a pot pie um, it's a veggie pot pie uh, we actually have um, either a Pillsbury um, biscuit or I do have um, phyllo pastry that's left so I wanted to use that up just to get it out of the house I don't want it going to waste so I will be using that on Monday so it's not fully plant-based on Monday, but um, the, the actual pot pie is. Um, Tuesday is our mushroom and spinach fettuccine, which I have made that um, before and everybody loved it. Wednesday, I'm doing a spinach and mushroom gnocchi with salad. Thursday, I'm going to try a meatloaf again, but I'm going to make it with half lentils and half the um, meatless ground to see how that is. I'm gonna do a um, butternut squash mash with some asparagus. Um, my asparagus, my husband loves, I just put hoisin sauce on it and that's all I do. I just steam it in the, uh, in the microwave um, for six minutes and it's amazing. The, the flavor with the hoisin sauce is delicious. So if anybody hasn't tried it, hoisin sauce on your asparagus, you just need like a tablespoon on a bunch of asparagus and it goes a long way. Friday I'm doing spaghetti and meatballs with salad. Um, the meatballs are a lentil meatball so that's a new recipe I'm going to try. I'm hoping I'll be able to um, film that recipe. Um, I might do the, the meatloaf as well and maybe the gnocchi just because it's an easy one to do. Um, if I have the time, I will do the pot pie, but I'm not too sure yet. And then Saturday, it's actually the Santa Claus parade, so we'll probably grab, pick something up. So that is my meal plan for the week. Here is my shop now. So I actually grabbed some um, bagels just because I found, I didn't see this at the grocery store until this week. Um, I got the, is it Daya or Daya? Um, cream cheese. So they had ch um, just plain or the chive and onion. So I wanted to give the chive and onion a try. So that was um, one that I tried. This was, I believe it was $5.98 at Loblaws at the Superstore. If anybody knows um, where other um, brands of the vegan cream cheese are, let me know. Um, I'm excited to try that. So I wanted to grab some bagels. Um, I got my vegetable broth just because it's in a lot of recipes. I got some more syrup. Um, this is the Aunt Jemima light syrup um, instead of using honey. I grabbed some sriracha sauce for my husband because he's always wanting hot sauce. So I figured I'd grab a bottle of that. Um, my gnocchi I grabbed. If anybody's looking for gnocchi, this one's only $1.98 at Superstore. And that's a regular price. And it's the 500, 500 gram pack. So... I'm going to make um, some mushroom and spinach gnocchi this week, so that'll be good. I grabbed some tempeh. This is something new that I've been wanting to try. I'm seeing a ton of recipes online. There's actually um, a recipe that I found. There's two different meatball recipes that I'm going back and forth between what I want to try, but one of them has tempeh in it, or you can make this into bacon. So I'm going to test that out this week. I grabbed some garlic stuffed olives just for snacks. This is a new product I'm excited for me and my husband to try. This is a soya, soy-based um, eggnog. So it's called Holiday Nog. It's made with coconut. So dairy-free. I'm excited to try this. Ingredients are coconut-based filtered water and coconut cream, cane sugar, sea salt, guar gum, nutmeg, natural flavor, xanthan gum, 
and natto extract. So we'll see how this tastes. My husband loves eggnog. I'm not a huge fan, so we'll see how I like it. And I got Earth's Own Cashew Milk only because my regular silk they were out of for the unsweetened. They only had vanilla. So that um, was actually a little bit more expensive than what I normally grab. This Smart Fettuccine, I love. I actually grabbed the Blue Menu Whole Wheat um, the last time we had the Fettuccine. And I did not like it. It tasted like cardboard to me. So Whole Wheat is not my friend. I can't do it. So the Smart, I do like these it's it doesn't list in the ingredients that it has egg in it but it does say it may contain egg so it's not fully vegan it does it doesn't say that it lists it but it does um say that it possibly will i got some spaghettini for our um spaghetti and meatballs drew a blank there i've got dill pickles for snacks um i got some low sodium ketchup um, Pam olive oil spray is $1.50 off right now at Superstore. Great price. Sweet and sour sauce I grabbed actually for the kids. This is gonna, they're gonna have chicken, chicken balls. So I'm serving that with it. Um, I grabbed, so I have been telling everybody about the no name tomato sauce because it's, I count it as zero points because it's the closest that you can get. If you actually scan it, it's one point per half cup. Um, but if you look in the free or the zero point items, half a cup of tomato sauce is zero points. So I count the no name one as zero points. This does have points because it has added sugar and there's cheese in it, but I really wanted this for spaghetti and meatballs. I know it has cheese in it. Um, so it's not going to be fully vegan for that, but I just wanted a really good tasting tomato sauce and I love that one. So I just... That will be kind of my treat meal, I guess we can call it. I grabbed some more chickpeas. Um, those are gonna go into the meatballs, um, as well as I've been making some quinoa chickpea um, salads for lunches. So I'm really liking that. So I'm gonna make sure that I have those prepped again for this week. I grabbed a can of lentils. I actually have a ton of dried lentils, but I was thinking this might be an easier one for prep for the meatloaf because then I don't have to make sure that I'm soaking them and cooking them and making sure that they're soft enough. So I grabbed a can of lentils to try with the meatloaf. I also grabbed a huge bag of Brussels sprouts. This actually isn't on our meal plan this week, but Brussels sprouts, I we need more of them in our, in our diet. So um, I grabbed a huge bag in the freezer section, which they're only seven bucks. So it's not bad of a price. The mushrooms were on sale, which I was happy this week. The white and cremini, because I'm going to be putting those in um, the pot pie, as well as any of the any of the pastas that I'm making, and I believe they're also in the meatballs that I'm making. So that's the meaty taste. I grabbed some asparagus. I got frozen avocado this week because. I can't find, or it's just luck of the draw, that I can find good avocados. So avocado I grabbed in the frozen section. Um, it's already pre-cut for you, so it's so simple, which is going to be a great option for my um, chickpea and quinoa salads. I'll be able to throw those in, so that's another reason why I wanted to grab that. I grabbed another bag of salad. Um, I still do have my family size bag of salad that we're go going through, but I wanted to grab another one just to make sure I had enough. And I also grabbed these rainbow mixed beets because I really want to um, roast some beets this week, make some roast um, root vegetables for one of the meals. So that's my shop. Um, this was roughly, I believe, I want to say $70 um, just because I had other items on it. So I was trying to subtract and whatnot and see what um, was not for me. Um, but yeah, roughly $70 for this. And then I also needed to grab some dates at, um, bulk barn, which are actually on sale this week for 44 cents per hundred grams. So, um, I need those for my husband's, um, breakfast bars. So that's my grocery shop.
So that's my shop guys for the week. I hope you like this video. Um, stay tuned for this week for some new recipes coming out. Hopefully I can get my husband to do a review on that eggnog. We'll see. He doesn't like being on the camera. So um, maybe I'll get Paige to try it. We'll see. I'm excited to try it. A coconut based eggnog or holiday nog we'll call it. So I'm excited to try that. And there's a quite a few different um, items that I'm trying. We've got the tempeh, we've got the cream cheese, and then the new cashew milk. So we've got quite a few things that we're going to be trying that are new this week, um, as well as the beets. We never roast beets, so I'm excited to roast those um, and try some new recipes. So some new recipe videos hopefully coming out this week. I actually still have some in the roster that I have to edit and get out there to you guys, um, as well as some review videos. So stay tuned for lots of new videos this week. I hope you like this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And as always, my handles are at the bottom. Stitch and Lindy on Connect. And on Facebook, my Facebook group is Stitch and Lindy's Weight Loss Journey. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.